hey what's up welcome to another video uh, in this video we'll discuss about how we can write clean PSP code uh, so the concept we are going to discuss in this video uh, I've taken I've learned it from a couple of sources like uh, this repo and from Laracasts so if you just want to read it out I'll uh, post this link in description so let's get started so the first uh, really important concept while writing code is uh, so you you don't want to write a short form of some variable or class so suppose you are making a controller for video or something like that you might want to write just feed controller or something like that so the problem here is uh, while writing this feed controller still you have to think right so doing like video controller so due to the muscle memory you might want you might type it a little bit faster so the problem with uh, writing something like this short form is number one uh, you still have to process the what short forms should i write or that in your mind uh, another problem is uh, it is not uh, descriptive so it will not explain what it means it might mean something else so uh, the uh, first rule is to write a variable that will explain what it is doing so another thing is uh, so just follow a pattern like uh, so if you uh, just follow plural form just like plural videos or if you just follow singular just write singular thing so same thing in your route or any other variable name so main idea is uh, follow up pattern so here you can find uh, examples so another thing is uh, I use same vocabulary for same type of variable so for example uh, so then, uh, take a look at these examples so user info data record profile so you might uh, use these uh, four different type of methods or function in your different classes so you might use these uh, four different kind of uh, method names in your different functions so if you see basically they are doing same thing so it is uh, good practice to use uh, just the same uh, vocabulary like get users or if you are using get uh, I profile or something like that just use same thing just follow a single pattern just do one thing so the benefit of that is if you want to recall the function name or uh, you don't have to uh, go and look for what I've used there and something like that so another guideline is use searchable names so if you uh, you, if you name the uh, your variable something like uh, so while specifying function parameter or function argument if you just uh, directly hard code the variable name uh, there uh, it will be a little harder while you you are searching for specific variables so let me give you example and for example here you are uh, calling some function calculate and here you pass obtained marks and here you are tempted to pass something like this uh, so actually it is total marks but if you pass something like that uh, so the user, uh, the another developer who is reading your code might not know what uh, what what is this 800. So, so it is uh, good to just uh, pass a variable name like total marks uh, rather than just passing this 800 here. So next, uh, use variable uh, that explain uh, explains something. So, uh, let me give you an example like. So you get a uh, full name as an argument and so for example uh, you have uh, this full name um, Mark Henry and you want uh, you want to uh, just get a uh, first name and last name so what you do is so for example you just explore that from space and you get full name just an example so now this name array consists of okay now uh, for example if you are calling us uh, some function from here like uh, which requires just first name uh, so for example uh, you are calling a function like generate nickname and 
you just need to pass our first name so uh, what so what you might tempted to do is something like that uh, like zero so name array consists of this and you just pass it zero so uh, doing that uh, so doing that will make uh, it is fine for simple project but so the be uh, best practice is to just make a new uh, variable like first name and like this and then pass it like first name so that will be a uh, good good thing then just passing this array first item of array like this so even if you review uh, this code uh, sometime from now you'll uh, you'll get confused what this name array at zero is you still you have to uh, process this in your head what uh, this first item will be so doing that will just explains what this item is first name okay so that's about uh, the first concept uh, don't use the short form or abbreviation uh, let uh, make your variable name so that it explains what it is doing also be explicit while passing the parameters in uh, function argument so that the name will be searchable if you just want to search in future or if you just want to replace something in future uh, like if you want to replace all first names it will be uh, easier for you to just find a uh, first name like that also there should be a pattern like if you are using camel case or something like that so there are always some exception to these rules uh, so feel free to break them uh, if you need it so hope uh, this rule makes sense i'll see you in the next video